Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, have you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. Welcome back to Channel on Bushka. And uh, today we're going to have a look at two games, two games that are absolutely incredible. These are two of the best replays I've seen come across the desk in quite some time. The first one, mm, it's a great game, but the numbers are pretty crazy. The second one is just so random. And yet, amazing. <laughs> like, you got to check it out. The first one is going to be, uh, I am a reroll account in the LTTB. Now, I know uh, my good mate Aminette did uh, a replay on this earlier this week. I think maybe on the weekend. Um, but I thought I'd show it anyway because I really, really like the video. And uh, I'm pretty certain you will too. This is the standard Lost Temple. You know, if you're an old Blitzer, you will remember this map for what it was, which was a really crazy kind of corner map where everyone would divide either right in the corner of the map on this side or at the steps of the temple on the other. Uh, and the map's really become a bit of a hodgepodge now, and you don't often get games like this where everyone goes one way or the other way that turn out to be close. Um, they quite often just become absolute debacles. And it's one of my least favorite maps these days. Uh, but this game is promising. Well, I'm promising. I'm promising it's going to be pretty good. It's going to go off. We're going to have a good time. And we're going to do good things to bad people. Now, you can see the red team have gone and held ground. And the green team have split split asunder. Uh, and this is not a good move. Straight away, the KV3 is calling help. There were four lights and meds on his team. And they went down and these boys went up. Now, the only hope you've got there is if the mediums and the lights just go hell for leather into here. But generally, that's not a good strat anyway. It's very hard to get that kind of cohesion. I don't know what happened there. He's trying to fire HE, which is crazy, through that tree. But he gets away with it. Um, well done, uh, the mechanics of Blitz. I've done that so many times, find HE and defenses. And this is where the farm begins. This is early days. Not a lot of damage done by the reroll yet. He is really in the numero uno spot, though. He's got shots. If you look at the minimap, he's got two to the left, one to the right. So he's centre stage, and he's able to farm damage off whoever comes at either flank here. He's basically at the nail. Uh, and that is an excellent place to be. Now, there's one of the new pan-European get-up-and-goes that is just strutting at stuff around the middle of the map as it pushes towards what is probably the strongest point on the entire map. The center steps, get a bit of hull down, get a little bit of thoughtful action, and you are every post a winner. I don't know if you've noticed, but it looks like it was one on six or one on seven there for a second, and it's now one on five. Yeah, 1,647 damage done. Good numbers, solid numbers. Not enough, uh, not really what you'd expect in a video that I'm calling a good replay. And he's already taken another hit from the wild man of the United States uh, Light Brigade. Here we go. <clears throat> Down here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, please. Bouncy, bouncy. Now, this looks tough. Least he knows there's at least one... Oh, my God. There's three guys on him right now. Three guys on him right now. The IS derps it and decides to just drive forward. This is not an opportunity to hang out and fangle and dangle with the IS. Movement is suggested. Uh, the T29 can't catch him. The IS can't catch him. I don't know if the Chaffee's going to put the pedal to the metal. So that's four tanks that are accounted for. We're only missing one. And that is, we're thinking it could be, oh, what's that? The Chaffee has decided to put chase. And oh, lovely on the move. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. He's got to get up there and reset this cap. This is ugly town. No choices. No good choices left to make. Make them fast. His camo's been reset, has it? Yes. Reset camo. There he is. Spotting on the move. Tap it. Tap it. No, no. He takes his time. Excellent work. What a wonderful human being and an all-round fantastic drive by the Elta to Ah, uh, that's handy. The Hellcat appears to have gone AFK, and every post is made a winner there. This is brilliant. Things are looking much, much better, and by that I mean there's only four tanks to clear, one of them in the cap, a light, and two heavy. So you'd think, yeah, it's not actually looking that good, and he takes a big divot in the helmet from the... Uh, oh, well, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. 
Yep, the stubborn emerald goes down because really you can't sit in the wide open in the stubborn emerald and expect for good things to happen. And here we have come full circle for our little amigo in the LTTB. This is exactly where you want to be. Facing really derpy guns. Oh, he's going to have to deal with the chaffy though. Luckily, it's got a horrible gun and no gun depression. I mean, and no uh, penetration worth noting. So he should be all right. No, it's not that bad. It's uh, it's not that great either. Um, he gets a big HE shill on the Chaffee. The Chaffee's a one shot and he is reversing faster at the moment than the poor old... Oh, that was a fortuitous bounce. A lovely bit of happenstance and occurrence and suddenly we're in with a chance. Another bounce, clutching out like an absolute monster. Of course he knew he was going to bounce. Everything was coming up roses. Tap, tap, tap -a Unlucky. He could have rolled a little bit high. They would have been okay. The T29 is desperately going around. You know in the red team changing rooms, they're sitting there going, what is going on? The team just needs to get it together. Why are they playing like this? The T29's had enough. He's like, you don't pay me enough for this crap. I'm out of there. Out of here. Good switch back to the AP there. Went for the HE shot. Not a bad option. He wasn't expecting him to follow him off the mountain, though, the T29. And now he's stuck with a big tank that doesn't have a whole lot of the Traversa Rudies, and he's been tracked. What a drive. <coughs> what a performance. What a player. What a human being. What an Elta Tadaba. Elta Tadaba with seven kills. 5,140 damages. Massive. Massive, you say. What could be better than that? Well, I think this game by my good amigo, Evan Steven, the voice of radio, Golden Oldies, that old time rock and roll coming to you live with Evan Steven. Um, <laughs> g'day, Bravo. Uh, Evan Steven is driving the Standard B, a absolutely gorgeous bit of machinery from the pan-european line pan-european is where we go to enjoy ourselves a bit of an exotic getaway from the normal tanking with these lovely uh drum loading guns now it gets out early and often uh hits up a lovely little shot there of the 54a1 and then just starts angling and dangling and trying not to get wrecked by the imminent crossfire from all the bad boys actually hit that shot in the M48. Like, I didn't even think it was going to hit. But not only did he hit, he hit well. Just couldn't quite penetrate the armor. Now, he's reset the camo there. 54E1. Ooh, another good shot goes awry. And then no scope. Right, why not? Just pang, ping, pow. Have a no scope. Where is the T30? That's important. Very, very important. T30 should be somewhere around here. Uh, looking for it. Looking for it. No, there he goes. Yep, just crosses. Is he stopped? Is there a shot? Can't tell, can't tell. And the flank is where it's all happening here. You can see many, many flanks down there. And even Steven is farming up damage here. 1,457 damage already. About a minute 30 in. And he's just... Oh, that crate. Well, who put that crate there, Wargaming? Unbelievable. Be good to get rid of this 54E1. Another tier 9 medium that needs to get done. And that is... A single shot tier 9 medium now. That's important because he is a big danger man. That tier 9 medium with all the clip ability, like big auto loader. Clip, 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 cloppity clip. If he'd peek or poke, that would be great. Evans looking for a bit of a hit point trade here. He doesn't mind going over. He'll take one to give one. Oh, thanks very much for turning up 54E1. He's going to reset the camo or is he just going to plow through? Tear him asunder. That Lerv is wondering, where's he gone? That bloke that was hitting me on the flank. And he goes, oh, there he is again. And there he is again. Max rolling for Jesus. Loves it. Can't get enough of it. Going downhill now at a rate of knots. And Steve-O is turning on the charm to the tune of 2,610 damages. Many damages. And hello, it's a waffle tractor. That was a great opportunity for the HE shot. Uh, the standard B has a huge HE round, but I don't think steve is going to hit it. Oh, he took a big one. The 59 pattern was all across it. Ow! Goes for the HE shell. Big mistake there from the Waffles. Steve-O's letting the second. That was that was brilliant. Do you see how he let the third shell reload? So he would have enough. There's that big HE. 
He would have enough DPM to just clip out that waffle tractor. That is outstanding play. Because if you fire that third shell off, it completely, second shell off, completely resets the reload. You wait an extra half a second, you get three shells instead of two. Well played, that man. Here we go. Uh, the usual North American server is... Uh, is on noobs kill yourself says that wonderful gentleman there because he wasn't able to actually do enough to win the game must be someone else's fault if we're losing they suck it looks like a you problem to me buddy but don't let me hold you back from uh, achieving ultimate greatness steve-o is now wheeling and dealing at the top of the map he's got no hit points but he's got a dream he's always been a dreamer a man who believes in visualizing his goals and they're just going out and chopping through them, biting off a big bit of the biscuit and chewing and chewing and hoping he can get it down before he chokes. <laughs> now he's not going to choke, but this is going to come down to the absolute wire, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the best finishes you're going to see in Blitz history. Steve-O has set this up perfectly. Long view range on the uh, standard too. Very long view range. In fact, long view range on the Progetto, the thinly sliced cured ham that is the tier 10 of the line. Here he goes. Up there. Now, there's only uh, two heavies and a TD left. That means he should have by far the best camouflage rating on the map. That T30 isn't renowned for its camo. The IS-3 just getting spotted. He moved at the back there. Steven nails him. Oh, so there's two in the cap. Cap doesn't completely reset. This is excellent news. And he just clips out like a boss. 5,258 damage. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Two to go. He's got to go for the cap. He's got no choices. No good choices. 90. Oh, is he going to get there? Look at that camo. He's done it. Come on. 96. He's done it again. They don't know what's going on. They're at sixes and sevens. He sees the T30. Look at him. Hungry, hungry hippos. He's just resetting it. They're back to five. They're back to seven. This is playing right into his hands. The master of disaster. Steven even. Even Steven. Leaving Steven this time as he goes out the back, right up the top again. A minute 36 left on the TikTok o'clock as the T30 and the Tiger 2 look to push the numbers advantage down his throat, but they don't understand mobility, speed, momentum, violence. It's all here. Thanks, Dr. Disrespect. Shout out to you for the lovely words. And we are looking for a big seven kill rash surely he gets seven kills he wins let's see what happens someone's back in the cap playing silly buggers again it's that tiger two one pussycat one more come on can he get it in does he go to the heat yes he does he's going to the heat oh stop no scoping you show off ah oh, why not he says i got another one in the thing 6,824 damage in a tier 9 match. One to kill, 255 hit points. He has farmed the pants off these guys with great use of camo, great use of the view range, and a lovely little bit of tactical know-how and nous. Where's it going to go from here? Well, we're about to find out, boys and girls, as Steve-O goes hunting for the T-30. He doesn't have time. He's got a full clip. This is going to be close. One. He gets a five, and it's doused. Two. Come on. He's got to do it 11 seconds to go. He's going to take the chance. Oh, my God. Seven kills, 8,000 damage nearly, and uh, it's a draw. Have you ever seen anything like it? Seven kills, 8,000 damage draw. I had never seen anything like that before. I'd seen draws, I'd seen same kill shots. I'd never seen it to get a RAS, and I had never seen it with that much damage on the clock and the counter. That is insane. What a drive, Steve-O. Hats off to you, buddy. You're the real MVP. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Lots more to come. Look after yourselves. And as always, stay safe on the battlefield. And if you can't stay safe, stay even, Steven.